Okay, this is one of the introduction videos for voicing modes. In the last lesson, I talked about how to voice a mode, as in how to come up with different chord voicings in a given sound. Next, I want to talk about this other thing that's in the introduction, that's these chord bubble diagrams, where you have a box in the middle, which is the fundamental sound, and it's connected to six other boxes that are its relatives. You may have heard of relative major and relative minor, well, this is relative everything in a seven note sound. The example I've given is F melodic minor, and you can play F minor triad, F minor major seven, F minor major nine, or F minor six. Those are the common uh, voicings that you can play with that sound. Here's what it sounds like just noodling with F melodic minor over the top of that. So you can just play the scale up and down or whatever. But if you want to play more ideas and develop more vocabulary over that sound, you can actually take ideas or arpeggios from the related sounds, such as the two, which is G Phrygian natural six. And you can, um, let, let me just arpeggiate that sound like the, the Phrygian arpeggio. I'll talk about that late in a later lesson, but one, flat two, four, and five. And the different inversions of that. Let me see what that sounds like over these chords. Now check it out. So if I if I play that idea, you notice I'm not playing an F, you know, so it's fine, it's like color tones up above, but if I do it down below, here's what happens. I kind of hear that as a tension note. In a low register, I hear it as a tension note, and I kind of want to resolve it. So you want to definitely engage your mind and your ear to know, okay, you sort of want to be sensitive to the sound that's going on. That's you know, the concept of making the changes. So if we go on to the third mode, A flat Lydian sharp five, you can play a augmented triad over it or a major seven sharp five. That sound is like really a kind of a very serious sound. Whenever I hear a major seven sharp five chord or an arpeggio, it's like a kind of like I break out in a cold sweat like I'm it's like I'm seeing police car uh, lights in my rear view mirror. It's just very serious. Here's what it sounds like over F minor major seven chords. Going on to the fourth, around the around the next bubble, B flat Lydian dominant. This is actually a pretty common sound in jazz progressions, um, used on non-functional dominants very commonly. And you can play, uh, say, the Crimea River lick starting on the thirteen. Or, so if you come up with a if you know F melodic minor. You say you've run out of ideas to play you can go to, go to the four and you can play your your stuff over over you know the, what you play over lydian dominance see what it sounds like Let's see what like bluesy stuff sounds like on the four sounds like I'm gonna get 
get some interesting sounds that way. Or you can go to the five and you can play blues on the five. But it's got a flat six on it, so this is a mixed leading flat six sound. That's Mixolydian flat six sound is that um, kind of a kind of a cool one sound where it has a minor four. Beatles, Beatles cadence. So let's hear what that, let's hear what that sounds like over F melodic minor. So this thing is uh, useful because you might discover some other ideas to play that you wouldn't otherwise think of, like that bluesy thing you can do on the, on the dominant chord. So you probably wouldn't think of that if you're just thinking of the parent scale, because that really kind of makes no sense, really, if you're going from the flat 7 to the major 7, and um, that's not something that really comes naturally when I think of um, just F melodic minor. But I can do that. Over a five chord. So let's, let's try that again. So I, I probably wouldn't have done that um, had I been just thinking of F melodic minor, parent scale. Going on to the sixth mode, D Locrian sharp two or D Locrian natural two to avoid confusion. Um, you can arpeggiate the half diminished arpeggio. I think that's a pretty a bluesy sound, you know. You can get sassy with that, that flat five. Hear what that sounds like. It's probably stuff I wouldn't play again if I were just thinking about F melodic minor. So if you go to the seventh mode, this is probably the most common um, use of melodic minor is the seventh mode or the altered scale. It's also known as super Locrian. It's the Hendrix chord, E7 sharp nine. Again, there's that Crimea River lick, but it starts on the sharp nine this time. Here's what it sounds like over the F melodic minor chords. So you can do it the other way around too. So what we did is demonstrate licks or ideas from the related sounds over the chords of the parent sound. We can also do it the opposite way. We can play chords in the relatives with ideas that you would play over, say, the one chord. Say I have, if I just noodle notes in F melodic minor, just out of time noodle in F melodic minor. So you know that's gonna work over the F minor triad, F minor major seven, F minor major nine, or F, um, F minor six. But let's play chords from, from the two. Let's play this G Phrygian voicing. Or the three. Or the four. 
the five. Six. Or the seven. So you can use it as a reharmonization tool or a composition tool. These relative boxes is supposed to be a sort of a bird's eye snapshot of what you can do for soloing ideas, comping ideas, composition ideas.